Okay, this is to video record. I'm going to do a video uh, on a couple from Switzerland whom I'm going to identify. I did not identify them yesterday. This is like the nicest, nicest couple you possibly can imagine. Really, really nicest. I'm going to explain to you a little bit in a little bit what the nicest means, what how that works. Um, but this couple was involved in MK Ultra since 95. This is from Switzerland. Uh, they were very, very much friends with the British. They became very much friends with the British royals once they uh, they were like really, it appeared to me like they had really strong social skills, ability to communicate. I should just say because when it comes to MK Ultra, and it was nothing other than about really torture, uh, they they coped with me successfully. Um, they didn't cause me, in other words, a physical pain, psychological suffering, as in the world I have found myself beginning 1998, 98, yeah. Um, and so... You know, I had no reason to like them. They were also more like light-skinned, uh, which with my MK Ultra racial theory, which Russians started in 1989, uh, when they just demanded from me for Slovenia to stay in, Slovenia, in Yugoslavia, in a greater Serbian Chetnik, State, uh, and started to talk to me about even genetics and uh, since I wanted out of this greater Chetnik Serbian state and were asking me whom am I more related to whether to the people that demanded from me to stay inside of Yugoslavia, such as Bosnian people and even Croat people, I did make myself clear that I am way more related, actually, that I'm not related to them, that we are not Slovenian people related to them in absolutely any way. This then expanded into probably, I think, also into Slavic issues, and I cursed the whole fucking thing uh, in front of Western so-called allies, NATO, European Union, because I was really, really desperate to get out of this Serbian, greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. And then, I'm not going to say the hell broke out, got loose, but it was just something that Serbs Russians continued to fortify uh, against me with examples of uh, facial features engaging their own people with darker complexion against me into violence and so on. And so it really, really developed into nice racial stuff, which even British royals have taken a good advantage of it. Uh, and but found myself in a completely isolated world of MK Ultra, you know. Um, world basically where you when I have no control over sleep. Where you will sort of just disappear from your apartment ungoingly. Uh, from first what was room here in Slovenia, also from Austria where I immigrated. Then the same thing started to happen in the United States of America, where I immigrated. Uh, this is just the way it was, right? So I'm saying this because this, this couple, you know, uh, this, is, this is a French couple. This is, this is a couple that is, uh, from what I can recall, is a French, uh, French, German, French. Um, and it's a couple that have two daughters, and both of those daughters were blonde, beautiful daughters, 
uh, I even was interested in. Uh, nice family, beautiful everything. But actually, really, really is not so nice, you know. In uh, 95, in 1995, um, when these people got on a picture, they did not have much uh, when it comes to financial means. Nothing much was there. Uh, but they were really, really nice. Uh, not they would have social skills or something like this. It would make no point for me to talk about that stuff because this was about the torture. This is nothing other than torture. Torture went on everywhere. I already explained issues for how and why. Um, uh, anyhow, this couple, the only place that there will be no torture that a British royals would excuse um, American government would excuse Western allies, NATO, European Union would excuse that place. The only place that would not be a torture would be if there would be some kind of a neo Nazi company or something like this. It would have something to do with the Nazis. And it didn't even have to be Nazis, you know. Like, for instance, Jörg Haider, let's say, Jörg Haider, whom they have labeled as a neo Nazi was not a Nazi at all. I'm going to dedicate one a video, a special video to the Jörg Haider. I have branded him, I labeled him as a neo-Nazi, but he was not a neo-Nazi. I did injustice there. Uh, as soon as there will be somebody, KGB, wanted to eliminate, destroy, that's exactly to whom a British royals, Americans, whatever, the only thing they would do is they would affiliate me to one. Yeah. And they did not hesitate to line up in between those important people. Uh, also, a whole line of uh, Aryan people uh, whom they also would destroy, get rid of it to basically make, you know, like the case that they are not a Nazi countries, that they are freedom-oriented, uh, prosperity, freedom, equality, based on for all uh, oriented uh, societies, countries, if you like, United States of America, Germany, Italy, France, British, you know, just Canada, just the way it is, basically, yeah? But in between this stuff, if the KGB made it a mine, to have somebody destroyed, that's exactly what would have happened. They would approximate me to one, and then before you know, it would be bing, bing. Unless that someone have completely submitted itself to the Putin. Not difficult to tell the Putin was in charge. Um, like, let's say Marine Le Pen, She's still there. Like, let's say, those who replaced Jörg Haider, let's say, they're still there, the same political party. Like, let's say, Liga Nord from Italy, let's say. Those that paid the money, doesn't matter. If you would have a Hitler waving a flag, a Russian flag, it wouldn't really matter. I'm just trying to give you an idea about reality, basically, how it all functions, because I'm the only one who really knows how the fuck it works. Next to the British royals, next to Putin, all of you guys that participated don't actually even understand what the fuck went on. Probably some even do, but for the most part, people did not, I believe, understood what went on. That's exactly what went on, yeah. And so this beautiful couple, if I go back to these issues, uh, let me... Let me tell you about how they presented them to me, how they make also white appealing to me. It, this is like French, you know, like French. And, and it was that year, I don't know, uh, let's say 97, something like this, that French had a tremendous problem with me. 
uh, grand problem. The biggest problem was in Italy. Italians just fucking hated me, man. It was just crime that was lining up. Sometimes in 1995, the whole landscape, Italian political landscape, completely changed. Uh, I was even thrown inside of the prison system around Napoli, Rome, uh, <laughs> delivered by uh, British royals, uh, who gave uh, Serbs a green light after uh, several years of British and Americans and uh, Germans carefully evaluating, not Germans, no, I have to be honest about this, Germans not, but British and Americans carefully evaluating economical landscape of Bosnia and Herzegovina, that Muslim part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, for which they have determined that it will be necessary. They, 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 you know how they saw this whole thing? You will understand that that's me talking to you. Uh, they evaluated what will be left out of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Therefore, the areas they won't be able to destroy, because if they would have to destroy them, like genetically cleanse them. Yeah, I can help myself but talk about the genetics, right? Uh, ethnically cleanse them, genetically cleanse them. Serbs did want to rule this area just like all other republics in Yugoslavia. And so this was at the time war in Yugoslavia. And so it was Americans and Britons, British royale who made a plan a grand plan economic landscape for the post-war bosnia and herzegovina realizing that exactly in which i could say here you know tier that's like a railroad you go tier like a direction like you go go the railroad right and then you have this tier uh one is going to let's say uh Let's just say one is going to Chicago, another one, you know, to Los Angeles, and I don't know, another one is going to maybe Houston or whatever. Uh, and then you have to make a decision, basically. And before basically the war ends, they these people already made economical landscape for post-world Balkan massacre Bosnia, whatever is going to be left out of one, yeah? Uh, so which doors are going to open to them and which are going to remain closed also as per political how this is going to be all fixed like that, yeah. So it became evident to the British that on a long term the survival of Bosnia is risky due to a city known as a Srebrenica, that if a bad dot would be, because there was more than Srebrenica, they had Serbs massacre already other areas, and so for whatever area they determined is going to be crucial in the long term to the survival of Bosnia in Herzegovina, Bosnian Muslim population, they had to find a way for the green light, for the massacre to take place. Yeah, and Srebrenica was just one little fucking place that just was bound to happen, something like that. Yeah, and so then the Britannia, Royale, and uh, Serbian Chetniks, uh, such as Mladic, the important determined. Then through MK Ultra and basically the way this will be done, then they did all that other brainwash uh, to deliver me on a picture, drugged up, hijacked, bitten up, tortured with all kinds of issues, uh, rated as a future husband of Mladic's daughter. He was doing all this stuff for me, just like a Thai king, Maha, was begging me to just one more time and one more time. It's going to be money. It's going to be more torture. 
torture for money just one more time, you know, just like the film producers like a Stephen King even. It wasn't only Spielberg, but Stephen King did probably just maybe 20% of what, no, 10% of what Spielberg did, yeah. Uh, Spielberg alone was begging me to allow him to torture that this is for me and for his daughter that we're going to get married and stuff like this. Now, you know, you, you don't understand what kind of beast this is, huh? This is reality we're talking about here, yeah? Uh, so it was a Britannia that a knowledge together with the Chetniks, with the Ruski, with the Serbs, and how they're going to cleanse that, yeah? And then it's going to be the last one they were convincing in line is in the interest was uh, Germany. Germany actually didn't even want to have anything to do with that stuff. But they got on board others. They got all others. They got France. They got Italy. They got other countries. And so it was a genocide, Srebrenica. And then shortly I was delivered throughout Italy inside of the prison system, jails, Napoli, Roma. A few years later, I had a Bosnian player, soccer player, all kind of people. You did, you did genocide in Bosnia and so on and so forth. Okay, I had nothing to do with the Bosnia, really. If it was for me, I definitely would have helped them out. But as per my MK Ultra personality, MK Ultra personality, this is just something that can be very very much modified uh, according to the taste so they could be used like as a potential evidence of something that really is just to excuse the people who really did this stuff and even that evidence was rather really really poor if they got whatever they got um the only thing the british did is they opened a wallet and they purchased even whatever those Muslims they stampede against them to blame me basically for it. This is how cowardly the shit was. Still is, I did. That's how it all went. Um, Alia Izetbegovic who that threatened me beginning the 90... 98 in Moscow, 90, 91, 92. The only thing that happened was for leaving Yugoslavia with the Serbs, he death threatened heavily. Once the Serbs bombarded Sarajevo, Tas factory, where the Volkswagen was, the only thing was they bring me over there and the Bosniaks told me that I owe them for the new factory. Hey, what the fuck I owe you for the new factory for? Yesterday you wanted to fucking kill me. Don't you remember you have agreement with the Serbs? Now you want me to build you a new factory. You want me to pay you for a new factory. This is basically how it went. This was no love. This was a rough business. This is a rough business. This is the roughest business ever. You can go into a boxing ring, and I did. And it's going to be 10, 20, 30, whatever minutes, bloody. But this here, this is something else. This is your 24-7. That will be ugly, uglier than ugly. A political sport is the ugliest one. But ain't that bad if you're sitting in a political chair. But if you're sitting in a chair below even of... Every worker, every person within the society, with everything deprived, and with the entire world on your shoulder, shoulders crumbling them, that's a whole different story. When you're no, nobody and nothing, and you're still so much, they even have to label you as mentally ill to get by. When you are so fucking much. So that's... Psychiatric hospitalization I got in 2013 is actually really is proving the type of material I am made out of. When it comes to this case of this couple here, 
And I was rather extremely, extremely disappointed. Extremely disappointed with these people, I have to say. Um, the car was, this is at a tortured castle. The car was what you see here. It had like, not white roof, but like cream color roof. Bentley. I have no idea how much it costs. Two, three, four, five hundred thousand. Uh, what exactly is the cost of this, guys? I don't know. Uh, it's expensive car. Uh, I've seen that before. Uh, people that were coming had a lot of these cars. Um, a British Royals figure out that this is the car that I'm going to have to drive for my safety and so on, that this is really the car for me, uh, that they're going to make be sure that I'm going to get one, two cars like this and so on and so forth. Uh, these British Royals are so sweet, let me tell you. Eh? So sweet that I just have to stop here and say to you this. Um, but first, let me, let, me, let me describe this incident, because I call this incident the window of the car, which was parked in front of this castle here of Torchets, in a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate you the map, was rolled down like this, like a, like, a, like a quarter, you know? And then you have a husband and wife sitting inside. Like I said, they had this beautiful two daughters, from what I can recall, that uh, already got married. That was supposed to be my future brides, uh, but they got married already, like, I think it was like even 2012 or something like this, the last one or something like this, 2011, basically right before I headed into psychiatric hospital to die, uh, <laughs> uh, that was the last one, uh, but what I wanted to say to you is, This here, this is this is a little castle here from Kirka Pharmaceutical that purchased one. What I want to say to you is uh, that this is not the way to talk to somebody like myself. Yeah, they brainwashed me during MK Ultra that I would be approaching to them. Uh, and if I would be nice, that they would roll down the window and talk to me. Um, this is at least rated, from my point of view, is the most disgusting British scenario ever. <laughs> uh, I mean, imagine, listen, guys, imagine that you're the one who managed to establish a trade for your country, whether it be United States of America or Germany or France or Italy or Sweden or Norway or Finland or uh, Netherlands or Spain or uh, Portugal. Um, or China, if you like, or Japan, or Thailand, or whatever country, uh, which would be based on a grand scale, uh, basically domination of entire world, uh, domination of racial domination, colonization, recolonization, imperialism. Imagine that you, you could return all these things back uh, onto the, on the map, everything that was condemned against the humanity. Uh, imagine that you are the one who manages to reduce the cost for your state, whether it be uh, oil trade, gas trade, uh, uh, heavy weaponry uh, sale, uh, trade, uh, electronics. Uh, imagine the people around you literally go on a daily basis to work inside of the factories and locations. 
to bring basically, you know, to, to buy themselves cars, to build themselves families and so on. Imagine something like this, that you would be in the center of all this stuff, you know. Uh, some of it is true, but other portion, when it comes to imperialism, when it comes to Nazism, when it comes to all that stuff, it was, I would say, probably true. We're going to see what the future is going to have in it, uh, but that uh, that's what the Russians have been into. That's what Russians have covered themselves into. Uh, and that actually helped tremendously, let's say, German-American, British economies uh, to for a good money, basically, discounts, oil, gas, all kinds of discounts, uh, deliver, you know, for the cost of creating uh, like a like a Nazi Nazi society, imaginative Nazi society, which Vladimir Putin needed for the war, for the wars, not for the war uh, on world. Uh, I dreamed about bringing back Soviet Union and now imagine that you are being used for every fucking issue like this like I mean like I said you go to the ring you do your 10 15 20 whatever minutes fighting inside and there wherever it is that you do uh, you train hard whatever it is that you do uh, your politician or maybe career soldier or wherever it is you risk your head on a daily basis um, it's what you get paid for, it's what you get rewarded for, and so on. But now, in my case, imagine to be less worthy within society, entitled to, not worthy, as worthy like fucking priceless, but entitled to less than a bugger that goes to the fucking food bank, literally, to collect the food. Less than a fucking drug junkie that has for the pack of the cigarettes. Uh, money to throw away and so on. Uh, imagine, imagine that you have done this kind of sales. Imagine that you were told in '95 by British that they owe you already 50 billion. I don't know. Is it pounds? Is it euros? What was it, Charlie? Um, a U.S. government. Congress, they owe you $200 billion in 2000 and so on. Netherlands, Germany, imagine that in reality, the trade that goes through this kind of channel is actually greater even the money they talked about. And you have people like Elon Musk and Zuckerberg appearing out of fucking nowhere. Gurus, inventors, forget about entrepreneurs, whatever. And unloaded with the money, covered with the with the truckloads of money. Imagine that you have accomplished something that no king, no queen, a combine, Dutch, British, Japanese, Thailandese, Norwegian, Swedish, British, Belgian, whatever, kings, with the politicians from the United States of America, with the politicians from Germany couldn't fucking accomplish anything like this, that you would bring all the parties to the table and they would start to deal in a massive, colossal size economy. And you're fucking nobody. You're just somebody that some nobody tells you during MK Ultra on how you are to approach to his Bentley. No, no, this couple had money. This man had business already before. 
Don't get me wrong. It's just that business didn't do him a lot of good. He was running out of money. He was not doing well. Till I pop up in the picture. And with what they caught on their hair, talking about the British royals, uh, they decided it's time to give this man a boost. As they demonstrated me, um, his nice, as I said, didn't have really a social skills, but you didn't need them. Somebody who is tortured by multiple parties, and it's really up to you how you want this person to see you, right? Because if he's tortured by so many people, you need to have a special social skills. It's enough that you let him hang around you so he can rest his mind. Because he's tortured. That's all there is. Now, if you say something nice to him, that's a plus. Uh, and a French boy, they exercise a hell of a show with the Swiss. You know, the Switzerland has a German, Italian, and also French, what are known as the cantons. Canton. Regions, if you like. Out of 10, talking about the French wise population, probably eight of them were like, sometimes by like 97, 97, 98, they were like committed in total vendetta against me. And I already told you all about. Toto Coutinho, how it all went. This was the last person that was uh, loyal to me, to my idea about Europa. And what the fuck was this idea about Europa? This idea about Europa was greatly misinterpreted. This idea about Europa was about independence, about little countries being independent from the Soviet Union from German occupation, from whatever imperialist issue, uh, working together with one another, and, of course, with a countries which already have established and have participated inside of the European Union, trade, economic, social relations uh, structure. That's what my idea about Europa was, but it was obviously it appeared it had proven to be too much. Um, I have to do this video about Jörg Haider. He really was not a neo-Nazi, and because because he was against the double uh, language signs in Koroshka and in Steierska, on an Austrian side uh, against a Slovenian uh, signs next to Austrian signs and a language he presented the language issues and such uh, he became uh, just uh, labeled as a neo-Nazi uh, before you know Vladimir Putin Russians uh, the only thing they did was they make me appealing to him uh, they make they didn't make him appealing to me I, I didn't have I judged people basically the way they are and I haven't seen any kind of problem problem any kind with Jörg Haider who however was a big 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 Neo-Nazi, that's how they titled him as. They titled him as a neo-Nazi. He was a Nazi and so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, before you even know, like you would do like this, you had already Israeli lady who would use me literally to walk to his property, around his property. Uh, they had immediately people are writing down about his uncles during the World War II that were Nazis and so on, and about the property, how the property in Austria 
the Jewish property was nationalized, stolen from Jews, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, which basically I'm not even saying that's not the case. But that's not basically what I'm saying. Uh, it's just that I'm Slovenian. Jörg Haider is Austrian. Jörg Haider uh, got his death certificate in 2008. There was a car crash. Uh, and I am going to stop here. At least for now, I'm going to stop. Yeah, I might actually do something else instead. Um, and because I am a neighbor of Austria, I'm Slovenian, and because, like yesterday, I had a, a very productive conversation with a local priest here, who claimed how the Slovenian state repossessed uh, property from the church and this and that and so on and so forth. And I was completely frank about it, that uh, he should be worrying about instead issues that concern him personally and the institution, therefore a church, a Roman church institution itself, as if he is serving a God and a faith uh, I believe that he is worrying about too much political issues because I don't think that Slovenia is wealthy enough to collect forests and whatever Slovenia finally have taken back to itself uh, to award a Vatican with. Yeah, now Vatican is a country. They even say, like, the wealthiest country in the world, which gold, however, is stored in a Switzerland. So don't even think that it's not. And that I'm going to be losing here forests in Slovenia and stuff so that a Vatican can get wealthier and wealthier and wealthier. Maybe in the United States of America, they don't have to pay taxation for that kind of stuff. But when it comes to religious freedoms, especially because church, Roman Catholic church, was a nest of the fascism and of the Nazism uh, in Slovenia, which goal agenda clearly was to exterminate us from the face of the earth. Uh, we do have the right to take back whatever was ours and would not proceed to fill the pockets of Vatican, basically uh, we, we would be doing this kind of imperialism here in Slovenia, I figure out. Uh, he's crying about uh, a Roma people, uh, how they're doing stuff to him and so on and so forth, uh, landed very, very shortly in my ears. It, it really, really didn't work. Uh, if it would have worked, However, Milan Kuchan, Milan Kuchan is contrary to the church. Uh, however, these swines, when they find the common interests, basically, he believed that he's going to instigate into uh, Tsigani. Uh, Tsigani. And I continue to refer, refer instead Romy, and I called him to be a rather... Uh, Tolerant, yeah, because he pulled from the MK Ultra scenario, scenario with which he believed that he would accomplish for a Milan Kuchan a big victory, for which also he was promised uh, then that he would uh, get the forest, two hectares of the forest locally located here, allocated back and stuff like this. So this is this is beyond disgusting. Uh, it's one and the other side that are. Yeah, cooperating on a certain issues more than you possibly could imagine. I'm not defending, obviously, either. Uh, but since this is about nationalization topic, what I want to say to you is 
I was kin to the Jewish lady, Israeli lady, that, that started the war through me against Austria. Uh, I didn't like the idea about it. Actually, that would be like I would go, actually, she started one on a politician, which I liked, Jörg Haider. I like Jörg Haider because Jörg Haider was the only politician who was against Vladimir Putin. This was the politician who stayed loyal to European values. He didn't want Slovenia in Austria, but he wanted Slovenia to exist. He wanted Croatia to exist and Bosnia to exist and so on. Uh, but because of fucking millions of Slovenian people, that immigrated to Austria. And I said millions just to sound a little bit bizarre. The truth is, numerous to Germany, to Austria, to the United States of America, to Canada, during so-called Yugoslavia, Greater Serbian Chetnik State, where people ran for life literally across the border to save themselves from this hellhole. Uh, I felt no fucking necessity I would go against the politician that just wants you to speak German language in Austria. Uh, I felt no necessity that I would go against an individual that hosted, uh, whose country hosted numerous Italian immigrants, workers, arbiters, Turkish workers. This was characteristic for the Germany and for uh, Austria. The Bosnian people, Croatian people, and so on. All this all this push of the people that some ran economically, others literally for life. Uh, that I would go against a politician because, uh, because he advocated just as I would advocate the values of his country I, I had no need for that stuff. You know? So the first one that Putin, the Kuchan, have hired for the job was uh, Israel who came to the rescue. Uh, but let me tell you something. Um, when it comes to nationalization, um, every country in Europe did it. Poland did it. Uh, every, every country, every fucking country did. France did. Italy did. Everybody in Europe is stealing money like this. More than anybody in Europe. Israel did. How the fuck would you feel if I would go to the Israel and I would start with the Palestinian people, walk on the land of Jews, Israelis who build themselves their homes, their farms, whatever, on what yesterday was a Palestinian land. Probably the Jews wouldn't like me, they would hate me. So I am not going to be excusing for this matter to Israel. I'm just going to take you to a fucking court for using me as a tool of war against the Austrian state and also as a torture you engage against me. There is nothing when it comes to Jörg Haider that would be proving about, that would prove to be true about his neo-Nazi activities. You are a corrupt uh, individual. It was just what I stated it was. And he had to pay the price because of you. I was the one, however, who was guilty. Jörg Haider is alive. Jörg Haider is not dead. Jörg Haider is in Berlin. He's alive. He's not dead. He alone started to abuse me. He got scared because of this stuff. And the worst thing was that his political party, his political view, his political option, his image, who, which was so strong in Austria. Also, and maybe even especially within Slovenian community. <laughs> those who ran to Austria for life, those who lived in Austria didn't have really a problem with the Jörg Haider. The one who had a problem with the Jörg Haider was Ljubljana. 
It was a Moscow that had a problem with Jörg Haider. Jörg Haider, because he was so charismatic, attractive individual, he was attractive. He was very attractive. He had this uh, Potsnara, what's his name? I'm not going to go. But okay, since we are recording this video, uh, who would also camera it with us, with him, with Jörg and with me. Jörg always had me with me. I don't know, maybe I was his best friend ever. I have no idea. The two of us were really inseparable. But it wasn't to hurt somebody. It was to advocate European Union. Europe, basically, Europe, values of the Europe, what you see today is happening in Ukraine, which is trying to get by. And that the problem with, uh, with, uh, with uh, Jörg Haider was that he was too popular and the direction of the politic, the corruption, I should say, the oil, gas trade, mineral trade with the Russia, which accounted for, maybe they say, they told me like, I don't know how much, 100 Kuwaits in Saudi Arabia's. That's how lucrative this shit was. He had to go. He had to disappear. So, there was one way to disappear. There was one way to go. And that way was okayed finally by after his car was destroyed. I was taught to never come back to his mom, to this village where he's from, where his property was. His wife told me that I owe them money and so on. Uh, both of these daughters got married to Italians that uh, no neo-Nazi person ever, uh, if the person would be a little Nazi, would consider as uh, sons-in-law, no way, uh, too much of a dark complexion, and so on and so forth. Uh, he was simply not a Nazi. He was just exactly what I stated he was. That's all there is. Uh, I wish him the best. If I ever get to meet him, I hope I would work with him. Uh, I don't take that hard. Uh, I, just, I just didn't mean to, to hurt anybody. Uh, is really was never intended to hurt anybody. And I'm just uh, stressing the issues just as exactly as the way they are, basically. That much about all this stuff, about what exactly went on, how it went on, what exactly happened, and so on. That you would approach to me with a, with a Bentley, with a car, and you would... Uh, a roll down a window like this as I was instructed to approach. Can you imagine what kind of uh, issues you implicated in this stuff? I mean, for the last six months, I pissed the blood. Why the fuck did I pierce the blood? Let me ask a British royals, why is this necessary? Why? I mean... The whole thing was necessary. I'm going to tell you why this shit was necessary. The whole thing was necessary because you didn't want to pay off. Because you didn't want to pay. Because you're cheap. Because you are shit. Because you're thief, you're thugs. And you murder. You kill, you steal, you kill. You kill and you steal, basically. There is no excuse out of this. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm not mentally deranged. I'm not stupid. I have proven beyond a doubt to have more intellect and everything else than you ever could possibly imagine, dream of. Now, it's the last thing that I would allow myself would be that somebody who participated, doesn't matter to me if he have a personal jet or he has a Bentley or he has, and I have less than a hundred euros that's left. And I fuck you, I'm not asking any one of you for anything. 
I'll get this stuff done through without you. Or maybe die if I have to. But I'm never ever going to ask you for one fucking thing. For a single fucking thing. Because you're the most disgusting people that have ever lived in this world. I had the people that were involved in this MK Ultra, I can't fucking imagine what kind of people the fuck you are. What the fuck you are. Like, like how much the fuck is it human in you? I wouldn't take fucking donation on you. I want to fucking burn you and destroy you on a court for what you have done. Fucking scum you are. You think that in this world donations is what the fuck we need? You think so? That I need more than donation? That I needed more than donation? Uh, more than job? That I needed donation? That I gave you impression about myself like this? I don't know, man. I don't know anything about this. There was more than 30,000 jobs I applied. Between 2006 and 2010. In several countries. You think that I ever needed donations more than a job? That this is what the fuck I am? That I'm walking around and going on a mercy trip? You are the most disgusting creatures that the world have ever seen, the world have ever known for. If I knew about this stuff in 90. 89, beginning the 89 in Moscow when I bleeded over there, I, I would have never ever moved even with a finger in respect to NATO and European Union. So now you present me the issues like this, that this is how I should go like this, approach people like this and try to talk to them and get the proof about it. This is how it is. So that you... Prince William, Prince Harry, you actually believe that you're going to paint the value of myself by using people like this, with this kind of humiliation scenarios? Is this kind of terror, this kind of fear mongeries, this kind of humiliation you are using? Not that you're trying, you are using it. You fucking shit, you fucking shit. You wear fucking diapers. When I was bleeding in Moscow, I am the one who built NATO. I am the one who built European Union. I am the one through whom economy have gone through for the last 34 years. And you try to do something like this to me when combine all of you kings and queens today that you are with your prime ministers and ministers and presidents haven't done fucking anything other than to steal anticipated to kill, to steal when you are to take a trip like this which is a trip to fucking nowhere save yourself time save yourself gas because you're going to be talking to yourself I am never going to be meeting you. I am never going to be talking to you. As a matter of fact, if you have something to tell, because the next video is going to be about German couple, the nicest, sweetest couple ever, the same shit, you know my address, you know my home, you are here so many times, why don't you stop here and bring me over some tape, bring me over some audio. The least, if you see me somewhere, try to be nice with me. You better be nice to me. You better be pleasant, nice to me. You better use your social skills like I do to communicate with me. Don't give me no fucking ass. Talking to every one of you right now involved in MK Ultra. None of you is going to paint me any fucking value. I am never going to walk in your shadow.
you are too little, you're too small, you're too fucking nobodies. You never will represent anything compared to myself. On a scale of this world, no matter what the fuck you do. Out of every 10 French, they have used, uh, they all raided me, race is no good, race is, race is, race is, race is, race is, they were like, two. they were like, however, I would frequently hear, always in front of the British royals. Are you going to help this man? Are you going to help him? Are you, you would help him and you would help him. It always was inside of this home. He was screaming, yelling, no, no, no. He's a racist. You mistreated me. Fuck. They tortured. You tortured me. You tortured. You butchered. Talking about the French, Italians, talking about Spaniards, Portuguese, Americans, doesn't matter to me, British, Germans, whatever. And you dare to come in my face to stress issues on how I discriminated you even. So that the two of you out of ten could be approached in front of me by the British royals who suggested that However, if at least you would help this guy, and then we would, and then you, they sponsor those people, so they build in my head an idea on how they are on my side. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you stuff like this in front of me to me? How dare you do this? How dare you motherfuckers to do stuff like this to me? When did you grow up so much, you fucking scum British? Since when did you grow up so much to be gods like this, huh? Who, you, what, you're deciding about what? You fucking nobodies. You don't decide about anybody. You don't decide about anything here. You never decide about anything. You didn't even pay the fucking bills. Do you know what kind of bill do you own? Oh, not own. Do you know what kind of bill do you own? Do you know, boy, what the fuck you did? Do you even understand, you little British shit, what you have done? What you have committed? When you want to visit, do never visit like this again. You're not going to paint picture. With regardless of how many Bentley's pictures you're going to try to paint. Just recall this fucking video. There is no nice and good and bad in this story. There's only courts. There's only law. That's all there was. That's the only thing I ever recognized. It's also the only thing I ever going to recognize. The rest I don't fucking recognize. Beyond law. I don't recognize anybody. You understand that? That's all I want to do for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, today is June the 11th, 2023. Uh, it was a couple. Uh, let me go see that stuff. Uh, it had a registration GR license. Plate GR I think it was something like this GR is this here it ex it exists somewhere so what what is this thing here G -R. let's see so that should be something like this
Swiss license plate, yeah. So they do. They have one hundred percent two daughters, and I also think they have a son. So um, I I don't know what this. What is this? Graubünden. Graubünden. This is actually even um, German. Graubünden. Let's see this here. I, I was sure that they are like French, German, something like this mixture. The daughters were blonde. The man I have seen, it was more like bald yesterday. You couldn't make anything. I didn't even approach to it. I just, uh, uh, what is this? Saint, Saint Moritz, Grison. Uh, where is the Grison? Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Saint Moritz, Rosa. Uh, this is a more on the Italian side, isn't it? This is a more on the Italian side, yeah. Italian, Austrian side. Uh, Italian, German, something like that. To me, it made an appearance. Uh, I kind of felt like more like French. Yeah. Uh, they speak English and they also demonstrated me in Switzerland uh, how could up the Swiss people alone are basically demonstrated me uh, valet guys how they run for a hundred euro tips and stuff like that and all that stuff they wanted to make like a big impression on me don't try to make no fucking impression on me you don't have enough money for that I am probably worth I am worth definitely for a hundred Elon Musk's and he's got some money and according to what was specified to me in 95 already there is no shake there is no king there is no to me no that could possibly come up with that sum of money basically that's all you gonna come to me don't fucking push don't bully don't challenge. Stay where the fuck you are. Save yourself breath, gas, and everything else. You don't have to come here. For this couple, we're going to meet. Or we're going to meet on the court. Because I want my dignity. When you do the stuff like this, I'm going to fucking get you. When you do this stuff, better don't come. If you don't want to be using a social skills like I do. I'm a very pleasant, I'm a very polite person, unless you step on my toes. But till the moment you step on my toes, you have the most, the politest, the friendliest person in front of you. I do have a social skills, but I know where the limit is. There's a lot of mentally ill people in Hollywood because they don't know where the limit is, but I do. So that's all there is. Uh, I am going to leave you with uh, exactly this was the location right here. Uh, at this uh, castle of Torchets in an uh, Mesto. I passed through there. There was so many people involved yesterday that met me. Uh, Uh, the thing is, it is true, uh, there was another guy that was involved in MKUltra, a Slovenian guy, uh, who had uh, a Renault talisman, yeah, he had a Renault talisman, and uh, as I was going through the parking lot, uh, before uh, the castle on the other side of the river uh, I spotted this guy this guy had a completely window rolled down he was involved in MK Ultra uh, and it is true that I did uh, spoke to him this is true 
Uh, and the truth also is uh, that the owner of the Bentley stated me if you will be talking to the guy, uh, to this guy, uh, like this, if you will approach to him, then I will do this kind of uh, scenario. But uh, these are obviously at completely different uh, scenarios, uh, completely, completely different situations. Uh, I was just interested in this uh, Renault Talisman, uh, this guy had completely window rolled down uh, and he was just uh, looking friendly toward me to greet me, to meet me and so on. Uh, and it's something I don't actually do. Uh, but really, as I, I was looking his car, I was just passing by uh, this Slovenian guy, you know, I'm talking about. And he used a very a different, a very specific approach. So I was, I was walking like this behind the car. I was moving like this. And he observed that I was looking at his car. And the only thing is he immediately rolled the window down. And he was looking at me. And then you already have to make a contact with him so that he's not going to be concerned that you're trying to do something to him or something like that. So then we started to talk, exchange the language in a friendly way. Uh, it's a completely different issue than and you park in front of the castle with a car like this, with something like this, and then uh, you look down upon somebody like this, I'm going to say, fuck you. Don't, don't waste your breath. Just stay where the fuck you are. Uh, we are never going to meet each other other than on the court, because you are also a racist. You are a racist bigot for doing what you did, something like this, that's a fascism, and it's also a racism. I think you are a racist, to tell you frankly. Uh, I think that your daughters, uh, I was not good enough for them. And I'm quite pleased. I'm okay with it. So that's you got for your Bentley. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to take a date and time. This is important picture for me because I have, uh, yeah. It's a timestamp camera. That's what I like about this picture. Uh, this this is not doing this is not doing well. No. Nine one six. So. It did happen in the morning at approximately 0, 09, uh, 30 hours uh, on a June 10. Just like you see right there on a timestamp camera. I didn't want, I was so angry, I wouldn't even want to take a photo of, of the car or whatever. I just, I just went past. I, I was, I was, when I saw something like this, this is like, <laughs> you really want to do somebody uh, whom you have wasted 34 years of life to somebody like this you wasted 34 years of life and you left him with completely destroyed health without having capacity to go physician to a doctor is pissing blood literally for the last 7 months and you live individually in this kind of situation and you want to meet a person like this alright guys Thanks for watching this video. Don't waste your breath. If you want to meet me like this, don't waste your breath. Don't waste your breath.